Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. We're at AES in beautiful Los Angeles, California, and we are looking for the rooms. We want it. We know there's tons of gear here, everyone. Come on, this is like Sigmund Freud's Christmas with all these symbolisms and, and uh, things going on. But uh, so we know there's gear, but let's go upstairs and see if we can find some rooms. Well, we finally found uh, Prime Acoustics booth. It's the only one we can see that's on the floor. And uh, they have a whole series of their products, but one room acoustic product represented at AES that, that I can see, and hundreds and hundreds of gear um, companies represented with their new products and stuff. And it's almost like, wow, where's, where's the room? You know, where's the companies that uh, treat the rooms and stuff? But I guess uh, not not so important at this particular conference. But hope you guys still think the room's important because we all know it is. So well, here we have one, it's at least a diffusion company, so great. We found the other one, what was it? Prime Acoustics was the other one. So. so at least we found two. Out of how many gear places? 2,000. Not even, I don't even want to do the math. Well, thank you, what was your name? Ryan. Ryan, I'm Dennis, thank you. We just went in the whisper room, the isolation uh, booth, and you know, granted the design parameters of the unit are for vocals. We all know vocals are starting at 100 around that area for male and going up 2,000 maybe for female. And we did just a few measurements in it, it's 20 dB down attenuated, okay. 20 dB is, is good, you know, it's good. But like anything that's musical, like anything in our music rooms, like anything in audio for that matter, we want to eliminate as much noise as possible. And we want to try to get the noise floor as low as possible as we can. Now, being 20 dB, 25 dB down from uh, background ambient levels, at, at above 100, 125 cycles. Is that good? Yes, it's good, but there's so much more information in that minus 30, minus 30 dB attenuation. Seems like the lower you lower the noise floor, the more everything opens up and expands. So you just gotta be really careful about setting these limits on yourselves and, and accepting those limits. I think what we've gotten today is we've gotten into a lot of rules and assumptions and we've accepted those as uh, beliefs to build upon and, and things that you move forward upon. And I think we need to go backwards a little bit, step back a little bit and look at the materials that we're using in our rooms. Look at the, looking at the materials that we're uh, considering for our uh, vocal booths and, and things like that. So bottom line is low noise floors. We get it in our digital formats. We need it in our analog rooms.
But I hope you enjoyed our videos today. And if you did, we really would appreciate a thumbs up from you. If you have any questions or comments, you can go to the comment section or you can go to our website, acousticfields.com and fill out the contact form. Subscribe to our channel, our YouTube channel. We're now doing two videos a week. If you have some ideas for topics, you can uh, submit those to us also. If you're having room issues, we have that free room analysis. You can click on the button below and we'll compare your room to our database of 120 built rooms that uh, we built and actually measured. And I guarantee you, your room is in that database. So just click on the button below for the free room analysis. Thank you.